500 likes for these five scary ghost videos that will freak you out. I always ask people this simple question, as written on your screen right now, are you willing to take the risk? The problem is that they don't understand what I'm talking about because I just pop up with the question out of nowhere in random situations. Like the other day, I asked my friend if he was willing to take the risk while he was in the middle of the process with his wife, and I was sitting in the corner watching over him without his permission. But what are we talking about here? Who is about to risk it all just to see who is behind the curtains? What was that scary creature? Why was he lurking in the dark on them? Why did he chose that moment to appear when they were just recording that exact spot, as if it has some telepathic ability to know what others have in mind, as if they already had a deal to sketch things up to create the video, but this is obviously impossible and out of this world. This scary looking creature is definitely 100% real, and it was creeping at them because it wanted them to get inside the abandoned building to investigate behind him so he could catch them off guard and do some dirty things to them. It all started from the outside, as these two were staring at the window when it peeked at them, and as they followed him, they were hearing all kinds of sounds. It was a bone-chilling atmosphere in there, some from upstairs, some from downstairs, some from behind, and creepy sounds all over the place. It was like a horror attraction. Yo. You see movement then? Move the light. Yo. Yo. Is that? Yo. Can someone in that window, in that? Yeah. You see that face? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the f Second floor, man. Second floor, Oh, it's a red light outside that, isn't it? Hello? Which one is it? Dinging and beeping and what the f is that the window there? Yo. Hello? Isn't it? Hello? Yo! Hello? Yo, go upstairs, dude. Hello? Hey, what the f is that? Is that downstairs? Hello? There's someone down there, bro. <laughs> How can you? I'm confused.
Hello? We're hearing. I honestly feel like I saw this video two years ago, even though it was only uploaded a year ago. Maybe I'm mistaking it for another video where there was also a similar incident in a very similar place. San Haven Sanatorium, built in 1909. In Wikipedia, it said that this building was established back in 1912, but our ghost haunter said it was 1909, so to make sure we are on the right side here, I had to go back in time and see when it was actually built. But when I went there, these idiots who called themselves doctors thought I was some lunatic or a person with mental disabilities. They tried to tie me up with ropes, but I was able to escape them and run back to our current timeline. How stupidly unbelievable. I know, even that three-year-old kid slapped me after I told him the story, saying it was real. He was like, grow up dude, and tell the real story. So the tale of this place ends in 1987, the year when the family decided to call it a lifetime for such a place and close it down for good, as a lot of people have already lost their lives in there, thousands, to be more clear, and this place was supposed to serve as an asylum. Now here is John, the Midwest ghost hunter a little to the south, who will find the truth. Will he actually expose his cheating girlfriend on tape? And who told you his girl was cheating? Anyway, he will seek out the paranormal activities hidden within the walls and corners of the building. Why just the corners and walls? There could be some ghosts messing up different areas too. Are you getting dumber? So, what was John trying to capture? Well, let's just put it this way. They mocked this man until he started shaking in fear. Then, that was a poltergeist type of bullying. Could be, but the question remains, how were they able to do such a thing? There were so many voices, it sounded like a woman laughing at this man. Poor dude, he isn't done with his own wife, now he has to deal with this. There were a bunch of EVPs, a door closing shut, objects falling, orbs, and a phantom who appeared to walk by. It was so creepy, John pretended as if he were so tough. If there's anyone here, could you give me a sign of your presence? That is really creepy. Hello? Okay. I don't know what the heck that sound was. Did you make a sound again? <sighs> again, it's hard to tell with some of these noises. If there's anyone down here, could you make a noise of some sort? That was you, could you do that again? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think there's something beyond these doors here. Whoa, what was that? Dude, I think I just saw something. <gasps> oh my god, I just went into that room! Dude, it just flew into here. What the? Did you just go into this room?
I need to go in there now. Do it literally sound like a woman talking in here. I think I just heard you. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock on it again? She is communicating with me right now. Are you here because you have tuberculosis? Yeah. How old are you, ma'am? Oh my God, what was that? Dude, that sounded like a person. Hello? Oh my God. Oh, okay, okay. Run towards it, run towards it. Oh God, dude. What the fuck? Okay, from out here. Hello? I'm gonna cry for help. Oh God. Could you appear again? <gasps> Whoa, dude! I just got that in the freaking camera. You think I'm lying, make a noise. What's that sound? Okay, those were footsteps. Oh, shit. Damn, these stairs. I definitely heard that. Is my eyes playing tricks on me? No freaking way. Yes, ma'am. I could use your help. Could you walk up to me? Oh my freaking God. That was the freaking creepiest thing I've ever heard. Something about a baby crying. Well, what the heck was that? That legit sounded like a door. And it was heavy too. Hello? I gotta go up there. But look. Make a sound if you did. Okay, I heard that. Did you knock on this door? <gasps> Thank you. Could you knock on it again? <gasps> oh 
Whoa. Dude, look, look. Nothing. There's nothing. What the? Dude, something just passed by that. If there's anyone here with me, could you yell out your name? No fucking way, dude. Holy f Oh my god, I wish I caught that on camera. I caught the tail end of it, but not the... Oh man, I should have just stayed here. I keep hearing strange noises down here. What is that? Okay, okay, that was a moan. That was a moan. I made it. This is where the sounds were coming from. It's getting closer, holy f Okay, 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 okay. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I cannot panic down here. That's the worst fucking thing I can do. It's too dangerous down here, I'm starting to really freak. Oh God, oh God. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm hearing noises all around me. I'm not liking this. Is this where they kept your body? Oh, holy sh! Dude, that thing just ran right into me. Dude, I felt it. I felt it run through me. Make that sound again. If that's all you can do, then I guess I'm gonna be here for the rest of the night. Oh. Okay, holy shit. All right, it's getting louder. Holy shit! Damn. I came from up here. Oh my gosh. Who are you? State your name. Oh god. Dude. Hello? <gasps> All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I forgot my bag. Oh my god! Look, man, I don't want to mock you, but we all know it was a lie at the end when you said you wouldn't run away this time around. It's true that you stood your ground very well at the end, but I almost had a concussion due to the shaking of the camera. Even the ghosts knew how scared you were indeed. They knew how to finish things up. If you are singing at the moment I'm speaking, then the title on screen also applies to you. I don't want you to break one of your devices. You have put in a lot of effort and money to purchase such equipment. But when I say stop singing, I mean it literally. Not to you though, but rather to our friends in the next video. Luckily, the video is 14 and a half years old, which means if they were to make it in the music industry, we would have heard of them at this point. Are we still talking about scary videos here?
Yeah man, of course we are, but to get you to the scary section of the video, we have to first talk about the plot and rate it. The video is a bunch of idiots. Or, to be more respectful, a bunch of genius teenagers have prepared a concert. But you said they were a bunch of losers, how could they have had the ability to do a concert? First of all, I didn't say they were losers, I said idiots, and second of all, a concert was in the concept, but it was just a small room, the smallest they could afford, with a couple of people around gathering to make these kids feel happy about themselves, even if it was going to cost them their lives just hearing that man's voice. The scary thing about this video is that none of them had any idea who was attending the event, as it was peeking at them right behind the TV screen, a scary looking female creature. <laughs> You said it was a female at the introduction. Okay, so what's wrong with what I've said? Well, why didn't you say it was a male with long hair? Why are you asking such obscure questions? Our friend Ted in the next video is dealing with the haunting of a ghost in his very precious and beautiful house. It seems almost as if you are about to enter into some forbidden relationship with the house. Does it really seem that way to you? Then let me continue, because after you watch the clips, you might also end up somewhere like me. At first, I thought this was his house, all until I realized that was just the basement, which has undergone a lot of reconstruction and redecoration, which makes it look almost like a fancy apartment. After I watched the videos, I took a look around me and said to myself, is that really how it is? And I'm the one who thought I lived in heaven, but these garbage bags aren't so comfy after all. Wait, are you saying that you live on the streets? Not literally. Let's go back to Ted, who was complaining about the paranormal situation. Why would you men? Do you really expect to take over someone else's apartment and then live like nothing happened? What do you mean? Are you claiming that this house isn't Ted's and that he stole it from someone else? No, what I'm saying is that we are all scared of the basement, whether it is haunted or not. So 9 out of 10 houses have a ghost haunting situation in their basement, according to my personal knowledge. So when you decided to make a whole apartment out of that area, did you expect these ghosts to stay silent? Of course not, they will come after you dude. So, what are we dealing with here? The closed cabinets will be opened, and the opened ones will be closed. The electricity in the bathroom, forget about it. What about the water faucets? They will all be running non-stop, and obviously, we can't forget about the figures lurking behind the glass wall. What's going on, TikTok? We're back in my basement. Uh, my fiance has been hearing some noises down here, water running. Actually, this door has been moving, so it's been kind of creepy. I'm really not sure what I'm looking for. Um, a lot of you guys want to know why I don't have electric. I do have electric down here. We just had the power off in this main room because it was getting remodeled. We still had the breakers on for the laundry room and for the bathroom. Those doors. As you know, that's my pantry. That's my, uh, that's water running. What that is. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not with that right now. We'll just leave those on, open, I mean. Um, see, even with the lights on, guys, it's still, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where anyone would be hiding, not behind the door. I think the water turned on again. 
but I could be upstairs. Um, man, I don't want to go in there again. Yeah, I'll show you guys, see if there's, oh God. Nope, that is the water. That is the water. Okay, so that's uh, not good. There is absolutely nobody in here. And of course, some of the cabinets are closed yet again. Oh God. No, I'm just about to, uh, looks like the light is now off in the bathroom. So that's kind of creepy. And I have to go in there to turn it on. Okay, looks like there's nobody in here yet. Nobody hiding in the bathtub. Let's uh, check the shower here. I mean, I have to sure you know he's there. Turn the light on with the camera not moving. Whew, that towel was freaking me out. TikTok, I'm telling you what. Okay, TikTok. I'm gonna show you guys this basement and all the creepy stuff that's been happening here. This is the bathroom I passed earlier, where there was some shadow figure standing supposedly. I've washed it. It's creepy. That's creepy. But anyway, there is nothing in here to make a shadow stand at all in this bathtub. I have a, that's to the pipes outside. Bathtub, shower, have a window right here, and uh, what the, what's that? Okay, so here's the thing. This house has been creeping me out for the longest time already, and we haven't lived here, but maybe, I don't know, two years? It's just, I swear to God, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, if there's anyone that can be hiding behind this fucking thing over here, I guarantee it. I don't know how to... I mean, <laughs> I have a two-year-old son upstairs. You would have heard these doors open, surely. Nobody on this side. You can see my big butt standing on this side so no one can get out. The theme you had with this decoration is perfect for some rest, away from the noise, all until you start dealing with a different kind of noise. Imagine having to move out after all the hard work you had put to make this basement look this fancy. Four kids were sitting at their house with no electricity on at all. It was pitch black outside, and you could only see what was around you using the flashlight. How racist? What do you mean? What have I said that has made you claim me as a racist? You said it was pitch black outside. Okay, so what? And you have the guts to question your offensive actions too. Instead of using the black adjective, you should have said that it was pitch dark outside. Sorry ma'am, my bad. 
Now back to these kids, who weren't really that young to be called kids, but their behavior was somewhere childish, at least the cameraman was. Instead of judging others, why don't you just talk about the video? Why are you being a Karen today? So they were making a random video, trying to give it some creepy vibes, but they failed miserably, all until something from outside decided to give these kids a lesson in how to make a creepy movie. What was it that they captured? It was so fast, I couldn't really make out what it was exactly. The camera boy noticed it, so he had to point it out, as the others didn't see it coming because they weren't facing the window when it happened. But wait just there. Yes, what do you want? You just called the cameraman a camera boy, so which one is he? Are you being gullible on purpose today? So he had to take a closer look. Jeremy was shaken to see the face of that creature with its glowing eyes. He decided to take action to protect the others. He took a baseball bat and went outside silence before the screen came out. I knew it was coming, but then I realized it wasn't the video. My neighbor burned his finger. In the video, Jeremy is found outside beating up the creature. Welcome to our scary movie. Ooh. Gary is a big fat d <laughs> Seriously, dude? Dude, shut up. Dude, what? <laughs> that was not cool. And die. <laughs> oh. You are an idiot. This is every time, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Oh crap! What? 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 I just saw something outside. We're not that seriously? stupid. No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. Um. Where? I don't know. Dude, I'm, I'm definitely not seeing anything out here. Maybe it was just a ghost. <laughs> Shut up. Thanks. You shut up. Did you see that? I think something moved it. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my god. Where is it? Hello. Did you hear that? <gasps> no, I see. Oh there it is. Like, oh, there is. Did you see that? What was that? Was that? Oh my god, okay. Can I'm scared, see guys. That? Where did it go? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I didn't I, see I, it. What the <gasps> hell <laughs> is that? I don't like it at all. Okay. What the <laughs> hell is <laughs> that? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Something right there, I see it. What is that? What is that? I don't know, I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god. 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 Oh my Here, take this. What? If I'm not back in five minutes, call the cops. What? Dude, no. what are you gonna do? No. No. I wonder why he said what he said at the end, as if he found something he wasn't expecting. Maybe he found out who the creature was, maybe it was just his father in a Halloween costume trying to scare him with the gang as a prank, so Jeremy just realized that he beat up his father, almost putting him on the verge of his life. Or maybe he found that the creature was just someone who didn't subscribe or watch the next video on screen.